We got some major, major breaking news as it has been announced that the CW will be broadcasting the final eight races of the Xfinity Series season in 2024. What's going on, guys? It's Daniel, and welcome back to your video. As I just said a second ago, we've got some pretty massive and major breaking news. As this is kind of a shocking announcement, but according to Jim Utter, the CW will begin its broadcast of NASCAR Xfinity Series races a year earlier than planned, as it will do now do the final eight races of the 2024 season, taking them over from NBC and USA Network. More to come on Motorsport. To be honest with you, I did not see this coming. Because we all know that NBC's contract and USA's contract goes through the end of 2024. But we all originally thought that they were going to be broadcasting and not until the start of 2025. But the fact now that they're going to be broadcasting the final eight races of the season is absolutely huge. I think someone pointed out that apparently according to NBC is going to be producing the broadcast, but the CW is going to be the ones broadcasting. So there's a lot of questions that need to be asked. One... Who's going to be part of these broadcasts for the CW? Maybe they get Dale Jr. for the final eight race of the year, considering Dale Jr. is not going to be part of the NBC anymore. Maybe they get Dale Jr. to broadcast the final eight races, but of course Dale Jr. has ownership in Junior Motorsports, so that might not be possible. What about maybe getting Carl Edwards out of retirement to commentate some of these races? Carl Edwards, in my opinion, is a was a really good commentator. I think he did a really good job during the Torrenton throwback race last year. And I think he will do a good job if he commentated in Xfinity. He did a good job last year, so I'd love to see him get the chance and opportunity. And maybe Alan Bestwood comes into play. I noticed some rumors going around that Alan Bestwood could commentate maybe some of the Fox IndyCar broadcasts next year. But Alan Bestwick is available. And Alan Bestwick, in my opinion, is one of the greatest NASCAR broadcasters and one of the greatest sports commentator broadcasters we have ever seen. I would love to see him be the lead commentator and the lead broadcast partner to do the commentary. Maybe have a booth of maybe perhaps, or maybe get Larry McReynolds or something like that. But maybe have Alan Bestwick, Dale Jr., and Carl Edwards in the broadcast booth. What about maybe someone like a Kurt Busch as well, perhaps? Kurt Busch, we don't know what his plans are. We don't know if he's ever going to get back behind the wheel. I thought Kurt was a very solid commentator, so I'd love to see him come in. I wouldn't be shocked if we see Sevaltar either, perhaps, as well. Maybe they're going to get the people from NBC, because it sounds like NBC might be producing the broadcast. We're not entirely sure. But now the other big question is, another thing to think about, is this is going to be very, very interesting because, again, we all thought they'd be going through the rest of the year. But the fact that they're going to be going on NBC, not going to be on NBC in the final eight race of the year, is definitely very interesting. And it sounds like what it probably tells me is maybe Xfinity is getting out altogether. A lot of people are speculating that Xfinity more than likely will not be back, at least as a title sponsor for Xfinity. They're probably still going to be involved in NASCAR next year, but they're probably not going to be the entitlement sponsor for Xfinity next year for the Xfinity Series. That's the other big question. Maybe Bush comes in and sponsors Xfinity. Maybe they become the NASCAR Bush Series once again in 2024. But what's also really huge about this is the final eight races of the year as well are going to be able to be watched by every person that has a TV. If you've got a normal TV or antenna, you're going to be able to watch the final eight races. And we know the CW has been making some pretty massive big moves. And you're going to get to see drivers like Shane Van Gisbergen more consistently. Maybe Matt DiBenedetto more consistently gets to run a lot more races this year. You'll get to see Haley Deegan, Sheldon Creed, Chandler Smith, Eric Amarola at the end of the series. Eric Amarola's got some races scheduled, my understanding, near the end of the year. You're going to get to see a lot of big names in some of the other races as well, potentially. You might be able to see drivers like Kyle Larson near the end of the year. If Kyle Busch ever wants to come back to Xfinity, you might get a chance to see him. I think Chase Elliott's got a race scheduled at the end of the year as well, so you might get to see him race in the Xfinity Series as well. In a nutshell, I think this is a pretty huge move that the NASCAR Xfinity Series is going to have the final eight races on the CW. CW is a pretty big network. They've been upgrading their sports portfolio. And in a nutshell, I love seeing that we're going to see them go to the CW net earlier than we all originally thought. There'll be more details to come out. We'll probably talk about more of this later this upcoming week. But still, I think this is a massive and really, really huge story. And nonetheless, pretty crazy to see that the CW is going to be picking up some of the broadcasting rights starting early. Because again, we all thought, like I said, that we were going to be seeing it starting in 2025. 
five. But now we get to see a lot of the big names in the Xfinity series. We get to see some of the great racing that Xfinity series produces. And you get to see some of the other great drivers like Chandler Smith as well. The other drivers like Brandon Jones as well in this series. And the Junior Motorsports organization there as well. A lot of more people are going to be able to see it because Xfinity series really is going to get a huge boost in TV ratings and more money is going to be coming in the way as well. I think this is a pretty amazing story and really incredible to see that the CW is going to be taking over the broadcast rights a little earlier than we originally thought because like I said, it was originally supposed to start in 2025 and now it'll be taking there. And then you got to think about the other broadcast situation as well. Who's going to join the Amazon broadcast in 2025 outside of Dale Jr.? Is Rick Allen going to go there next year? Is someone like a Siebel Tarr going to go to Amazon? Is Carl Edwards maybe going to go to Amazon next year for the cup side of things? There's going to be a lot of movements again that's going to happen on all fronts and aspects. We're expecting that Lee Deffy is going to be working with NBC NASCAR coverage because IndyCar is probably going to be leaving NBC at the end of the year. And Lee Deffy is going to be working with the NBC broadcast going forward. Does Dale Jarrett perhaps move over to Fox next year perhaps or move over to to Amazon. That could be a possibility. Or Turner. There's going to be a lot of major silly city movement happening on that front, along with the driver market, because we don't know what's going on with the driver market for drivers like Harrison Byrne Pass this year, or other drivers in Cup and teams like SHR and the Wood Brothers. But there's going to be a lot of movement that's going to be happening, not just in the driver market, but also in the media market as well. Because remember, we got the new TV deal coming in. CW for all the Xfinity Series races, which is starting a little earlier this year than we originally thought. This is a pretty big story, and again, we'll follow this up as time progresses and goes on. If there's any more information that does come out, you'll see it in this video. But nonetheless, a really huge and pretty crazy story to see that all the broadcasts for the Xfinity Series are moving over to the CW for the final eight races in 2024. Really crazy stuff. It's a shame that NBC and USA won't be working, but again, I imagine that they're going to try to get Dale Jr. to commentate some of these Xfinity Series races this year. It'll be a story that will follow up as time goes on, and we'll keep an eye on this story over the next few months as we figure out who will be in the broadcasting booth for the rest of the year. So, that is going to be a special breaking news report. One thing, guys, for watching, please subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on to invite when a video does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and support on Patreon as well. Let's go to below that and comment your thoughts below on today's video. Are you shocked to see the CW's broadcasting races a little bit earlier? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Who do you think will be part of the broadcasting booth in 2024 for the final eight races? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Earlier today, I made my 2025 NASCAR Silly Season predictions. Tomorrow, I'll channel, I'm have race picks for the NASCAR Cup Series race to Texas, and I'm also going to have the Truck Series race review, and also I will have a video talking about the short track package tomorrow on the channel as well. Saturday, I'm have reactions to Xfinity, the poll reactions for the Cup Series race, and also have an SVG video more than likely dropping. And then on Sunday, of course, we'll have the NASCAR Cup Series race review, and we're also going to have the starting lineup video for the NASCAR Cup Series race as well i got a ton of great content dropping on the channel over the course of the next couple of weeks that I cannot wait for you guys to check out. There's a lot of great content coming out, and I'm excited to share it over the course of the next few weeks. So anyways, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode, and I'll see you guys next time for more great awesome NASCAR content and other motorsports content on the channel like this. Take care, everybody.